Twice is a very powerful reporting engine, <clears throat> and you can get to it uh, underneath the dashboard here on reports. And when you click on reports, you're brought to this page. So as you can see here, uh, there's a number of reports that you get right out of the box as far as activity, history, uh, group memberships, and things of that nature. And you can go into any of these and modify them as you wish. Uh, for this exercise, we're going to go in and we're going to create a new report. And as we click on new, uh, we'll be brought into this option here. So we're going to say this is um, video sample report. You can set the security on it so as either to everyone you're a private report or to any groups. We have an administrator group uh, that's been configured, but for now I'm going to open it up to everyone here. And then you can decide uh, which table you want it to be on. We'll use the activity table by default. And which type you want. We have pie charts, bar charts, lists. We have a bunch of others, but those are really the three most popular ones you're going to work with. And we're going to start off with a pie chart. And then we're going to group the tasks by type. And if we go here and we run this report, uh, you'll see that the report looks like so. We're just going to save this really quickly. And then, like we could with our dashboard widgets and homepage widgets, we can drill down and interact with the content. So, for instance, if we wanted to click on the workflow here, which is the purple slice of the pie, we certainly can. And then we can go back and we'll be directly back to our report as well. You can also change the sizing and the filtering as well. So for our purposes, uh, for the rest of this exercise, we're going to turn this into a list. <clears throat> and then we can decide which columns that we want. So we're very interested in the instance name, um, not their instance reference ID. We want to know when it was started, uh, which agent it was going to run under. Um, we're not as concerned about who invoked it. And then we want to know the status and then the type of task as well. So if we click here and we run the report, we'll see that the list is being generated. And this is nice because we can go here and we can uh, do some filtering as well. But this is we're going to remove the grouping completely. And we're going to remove all grouping, run this report again. And you'll see that we have a list that looks like so. Um, perhaps what we'll do is we can filter out uh, some stuff. So for instance, if I wasn't interested in uh, having the Unix task show up, for instance, we can go in here and specify type is not uh, Unix, and it will automatically take them out of the equation here. So if you see we have 62 entries right now, if we run this report again, we've already filtered it right down to 38 entries. So if we're happy with what we've done, we can click here and save it. And then once this is saved, there's a number of things that we can do. We can obviously uh, print it, and when we click the print button, it's going to format it for us here, and we can click to print it. And then you have the option here of print each group on a separate page as well. And we can also do some things on the columns here as well. So if we were to right-click here, we can sort any of these columns, either uh, forward or backwards. We can automatically convert it back to a pie chart or bar chart. We can export it. So we can export it to Excel or CSV, or we could generate a PDF. So we'll go here and we'll generate a PDF and we'll create a detailed landscape PDF. And it'll download it, report. So um, we have some options here for delivery as well. Uh, we can also publish this where we click on it and it creates a URL which you can embed in intranets and every time somebody clicks on that it will update the report for them. And then we can also schedule this as well. So you know we clicked on it to deliver to create a PDF, but perhaps we want to have it scheduled for delivery. So here you can go and you can specify your e email addresses. Uh, my daily report. And then you can have it scheduled to show up at 7 a.m. Uh, you can add a message if you wanted to and do some formatting of the text. And then you can also decide which format you want it in and include detail and hit submit. Then at 7 a.m. every day, this report will be sent to you. And one more thing we can do is we can create this a gauge. So we can click here and create it as a gauge. And then if we now go back to our home page here, we can go in here and add some content. And if we go to gauges and activity gauge, we'll now see that this uh, video sample report is being created as a gauge. And we'll just add it here. We'll close this up, and then we can decide where on our home page we want, want to put it. So certainly there's a lot of options and flexibility as far as it comes to reporting. 
and uh, you also use the reporting utility to create the gauges that you can drop on your homepage as well.